All right, so I want to do a little bit of a video so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing whenever I'm tuning on a truck on the dyno. Um, right now you're looking at my screen. Uh, I'm tuning on a 2006 Chevy Silverado with a 4.8. Um, this specific truck has a stage two BTR truck cam in it. Um, it also has long tube headers, uh, S&B cold air intake. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, customer's done a Flair Lady swap. Uh, we are currently running a DECA 80 pound injector on gasoline. Um, reason being is this customer is going to end up going to a turbocharger soon. So right now we're sitting here idling. Um, I'm in math only mode at the moment. Uh, I've already kind of steady stated through the VE table, which discussed the VE table a little bit last night, but I will do a video on steady state procedure on VE. Um, but right now we're tuning that 2D chart that I talked about in the original videos. So um, just so you can see where it's at, we're working on this math calibration right here. Um, so during the data log, right now I'm doing what they call EQ error versus math. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at um, our EQ commanded or lambda commanded, which is one. Um, and this right here is what our wideband is currently reading. Um, we are in open loop. So if you notice right now, the factory O2 sensors are not doing anything. Um, so I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to start driving it. And we're going to basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at the difference um, as I want this number to be as close to this number as possible in any situation. Um, some guys may be looking at this coolant temp right now. Um, again, it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, and I tune these things just as you're going to drive it. So you're going to be driving it with AC on and these temperatures. Uh, 208 is not a concern. Um, now, if it gets up in the 225 to 230, I'll back it down a little bit. But right now, the dyno is loaded, so it's going to simulate actual driving conditions. Um, we are working on a Mustang dyno, so we can accurately do that. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to put it down into overdrive, and we're going to go for a drive. So you can see as mile per hour is increasing, um, you will see air fuel ratio uh, or our EQ is changing. Um, again, this is the this is lambda. So I don't tune in air fuel ratio. I tune in lambda. This is a lot easier for my head to understand. Um, some of these that you'll see in my scanner, I'm not using at the moment, but these are stuff that I do use occasionally. Um, but basically, I'm just loading the truck up, and we're watching this line. And as this line is actually staying overlapping on each other. That's actually a really good thing. That means that we're close to being tuned. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slow the truck back down. I'm going to downshift the truck in a second. You'll see that coolant temp has dropped. Now the water pump is spinning um, at, a, at a higher rate. And so now we're down in a second. And you'll see, again, I'm, I'm in open loop. Um, so you'll see I've got a little bit of, of a rich spot come up. This is actually transient fuel on diesel. And this is stuff I'll show you about later. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of a partial pull. I'm expecting this truck is going to go lean. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my scanner up here. I'm going to go to transmission. I'm going to go to gear. I'm going to command second gear. And this is going to force the truck into second gear. And we're going to lock the torque converter right now. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to hold us second gear torque converter lock. It's going to apply an even load to the engine. The truck's not going to downshift or anything. And I'm going to be able to roll right into this throttle. Uh, and we'll see how lean this truck's going to go. Um, we're going to watch this number. Now, the higher the number, the leaner the truck's going. So what I'm going to be commanding is roughly, like I think it's 86 lambda. Um, so I'm going to roll in, and if it stays too lean for too long, we're going to back down, and I'll make an adjustment, and we'll go again. All right, so at that point, I'm going to stop the log, and I'm actually going to go in and unlock the converter. We're going to pull it out of second gear. We're going to let the truck come back down to a stop. Now, right now, I'm, I have stopped the log, so we're going to look and see what, what was going on. So, as I rolled into the throttle, um, you will see that touch lean, nothing crazy, just a, just a couple percent off. Um, as we get deeper uh, or higher up in RPM, you'll see that our math frequency is increasing, as I explained, at wide open throttle. So, this goes up the higher the airflow we're moving. Uh, and you'll see the truck will start to actually trend a little bit rich. Um, which is not what I was expecting, so that works out pretty good. Um, so right here, I lifted 5,300 RPM. I uh, don't have a ton of timing in this thing right now. It is on 93 octane, um, but this is this is basically just for me to get the air fuel ratio dialed in. And you'll see we're right here, right around 0.792 lambda. Um, that right there is is rich um, for a truck um, in the manner that this truck's going to be used. This truck is a single cab short bed. Um, and it's going to be just primarily a cruiser. This truck doesn't tow. It's got a roll pan on the back. Um, so I'll, I'll get this to try to match this 0.86 lambda. And once I get the math curve uh, corrected, um, once I'm finally done, I will build a um, 
air fuel ratio commanded that will actually target richer at peak torque and lean out a little bit at peak horsepower. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the video for this morning. I wanted you guys to kind of see what I'm looking at when I'm tuning. Um, and yeah, we'll keep the videos going. I appreciate y'all following along. Like, comment, leave me a reply. Give me something to make a video about. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good day.